Hello everyone, welcome to Bimola channel. This is Rajkumar. And in this session, we are going to discuss uh, Revit tutorials, how to create a Revit annotations such as text, tagging, dimensioning, and creating a line and detail line it may be or it may be a, a model line. So we're going to discuss all these topics. So as of now, so we have just discussed the basics of Revit architecture. If you have gone through the multiple times, then you will be able to understand uh, Revit architecture part as a rough value. So we also simultaneously trying to create uh, advanced topics on each elements. And we will be covering the uh, main uh, subjects later on one by one. So let's from this, let's dive into the tutorials. So uh, if you are first to be model channels, uh, you can subscribe to the be model channels. Uh, we do our daily tutorials on uh, basic tutorials and advanced tutorials on advanced family creations and and advanced tutorials coming up next on dynamos also. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting. Uh, you can see that this is a sample model that we have received from uh, Autodesk uh, Revit. So what I'm trying to create is uh, I'm trying to create a detailed view uh, from rectangle shape from here as detail and I will be able to drag this and as this area and I can have the head and then I can double click on the head it will take us to the new view and you will be able to adjust your scale value you can change the scale value as per your requirement and you can change the crop regions as you need it like this so whenever you create this you do remember and you are creating as per your requirement the crop size and everything the scale value and everything your requirement the topic that we are going to discuss today is annotation tab under that uh, we have our dimensions detail and text tagging and symbols that we want to discuss so these are the topics that we're going to cover so the first thing is that uh, while discussing a uh, model and uh, you will be able to see that the rooms that we have discussed earlier so that room tags are important so the tags are nothing but the families uh, which is loaded inside for each element so in Revit each category will have a different taggings uh, you will be able to do their tagging by your requirement so like that we're going to cover one by one let's start with the fresh dimensions from here uh, align dimensions just do it for your grids And if you miss the dimensions, you can select the dimension once again and you will be able to edit the fitness line and you can go to the next one and you can click anywhere on this area so that it escapes. And so you need the uh, dimension for the wall. So you can create a linear dimension if it is suppose or device you can specify the dimension of element that you need it. The area so if you miss a element you have to use tab button so that it will be very easy to cut it let's create it over in this place. and make sure that your crop region it is longer to show your dimensions so if I drag it outside it will not show so if you increase your annotation crop if you are not toned down which is available in the property of the view in here, station crop, you can stretch it out to show the dimension clearly. And you will be able to do the other dimensions uh, as per your requirement. Maybe it may be a diameter or it may be a arc length, whatever the dimensions that you are expecting. The elevations, you have to click on the edges to understand the rivet will understand the elevation value from the edge. So you can drag it the direction that you need it like this and it's not showing the floor height area since it is a detailed view it's not showing the floor and if you wanted to show any other elements height or maybe say this 
element and maybe this work work area like this you will be able to specify by as you can see these are the options that we have while working with the dimension these are very similar and simple as like in any other element repeat elements you will have the edit type to the dimensions you will be able to assign your text sizes and arrow sizes over in this place by using a duplicate and creating a new type over in this place as simple it is the next thing is that uh, creating a tags to your room which is available here you can use multiple options which is uh, depends on your requirement so the tags and maybe thread tags also one of the uh, tag new options you will be able to see this option once you have selected and if you click this line so automatically this chair number will be assigned like this and so if you need you can change the scale value be it very clear that it remains as 1 is to 30 since it's a detail view 1 is to 25 so the next thing is room tag you can directly take a room tag option or otherwise you can use these options room by tag by category or tag all options so you can take the room tag and you can go one by one and click that tag will be placed or you will be able to use tag all option and select the room tag and click ok so that every room gets tag automatically so if you have a multiple in number of room so i'm not going to cover each and every options available over in this place but since uh, if you are familiar with one tagging options and you can you could probably do other tagging options over the next thing is that uh, tag by category so it depends on that uh, what elements that you are selecting it will repeat will understand automatically so you can at a time you can select wall and other elements also it understands automatically they are not loaded the wall tags do you want it to load yes i want it to load it is in our family location so library let me take this as quick annotation architectural and it will be a wall tag and can now you will be able to assign the wall tags as per your record you can assign the tag value each wall can have a different tag description later we can have a legend and to describe what it is similarly you can have your door tagging so while tagging you have an option to select the leader with leader or without leader you can untick this option and that door tag will be placed you can move it wherever you need like this and we are going to create a dynamo script for this automatically in later advanced tutorial and that will be more helpful on the automatic place placement of the tags and text and everything that track since we have selected the uh, multi category tag so automatically it understands the other elements and you will be able to place one by one all the elements as of now this looks good and i will keep it like i don't want to see this uh, room cross line the room cross line it is in the visibility graphics vg and under the room you will have the reference you can turn it off reference will be turned off and be able to see the rooms let me make this as as much as clear and make it as fine see the detail of the wall over in this place so such as other things are uh, if you wanted to create a uh, hatch patterns we were drawing you can create a hatch patterns which is a filled regions in a private you will be able to create it from this area fill regions which is available here and you will be it is as simple it is you have to draw it, those lines for example 
say I wanted to describe this detail view. This will be for storage. Let me hatch this as vertical line and finish. And I can do a text option. We'll be able to place the text over in this place and say storage over in this place. And you have the option to move it move the text from one place to the other place and move like this the text property everything under available under this place the edit type and if you wanted to change their uh, background back to transparent you can see that the lines will be shown very clearly in this case we don't want to see the line so we control is that it will be hidden or back it will be as like uh, text and tags uh, look similar, many of them will get confused and it is similar but it is not exactly similar. You can have your text, you can have your uh, leader like this one, for example, like this, you can define your text to be confirmed, all type to be confirmed. Whenever you wanted to define your text or define your description, you can use a text. Or if you wanted to show your detail as the property which is available in your wall or maybe with your element category, you can use your tag to define it. The tag will automatically update, uh, depends on your element changes, but the elements of uh, text will not update automatically based on your elements that you have selected. So in the other words, if I delete uh, this wall, particular wall, the text remains in the same place. But if I delete the particular element, for example, staircase, the tag will be deleted. The, the, the stair third number will be deleted. So this is the dependency, dependency between the element tag and element. And the text will not have the uh, that option. It will remain in the same place. So this is a difference, basic difference between these. Control is it so coming back to the same position. Let's save this family one time and you can go back and create your color legend to showcase. So, whenever you see this error, the elements are not visible because the annotation region it is small. You can stretch it out, you will be able to see the room legend automatically. The symbols and uh, detail components this detail component all will be a families the detail component will be a detail component family based on the symbol will be generic annotation family so as per your requirement so you can define your north arrow this is nothing but a symbol which is helps to define your north arrow for example this one you can specify it like this and you can rotate it when whatever the direction that you want it to and this is a symbol and it will not be uh, shown in the 3d view or any other element view only visible the all elements annotation elements will be visible only in the particular view it will not be reflected in the other views or any other 3d views uh, as like um, <coughs> uh, the component also uh, component uh, detail components also requires uh, in our detailing options you can load your detail component family and you will be able to place it wherever as i mentioned uh, there are different three different uh, line site line types are available uh, model line symbolic line and detail line depends on your place that you are residing. so if you are inside your project so you will be able to see the detail line over under the annotation tab Architect under the architecture tab you will be able to see the model line so the model line will be seen in 3d also and the detail line cannot be seen in the 3D. It will be per particular uh, available only in the particular view we have drawn. The symbolic line are also similar to the detail line. It will not be shown on 3D, but the symbolic line will vary based on your scale value change. So the symbolic line will be available in your uh, symbol creations and not in this position. The detail line will not vary based on your scale value.
so i hope uh, that's it for this tutorial so if you if you have any questions you can leave your comment below and we'll be looking after the next sessions uh, next uh, will be scheduled and it will be on live so you can uh, if you like this video you can like and share with your friends and we are coming up with the next tutorial and see you on the next thank you bye